So um, I find that this truck uh, doesn't quite pop in pictures as much as I think it should. Um, and I say that because I took the pictures. I just tried to take them again. There's just something about the white color in here with the fluorescent lights and it just it's just not happening. So I uh, feel that most people are not fully appreciating of the uh, spectacular condition that this Defender is in. Uh, and let's start with some history. This is the first true Defender, 1991, as you can see right there. Before that, it was called a Land Rover 90. It looked very similar, but there are big differences. Most importantly, the TDI engine. The 200 TDI, is still considered today to be the best engine ever put to the, in these cars, uh, is the one that makes a difference. It takes less gas or diesel and uh, provides way more torque and power. Uh, the reason I wanted to do this video is because uh, this beautiful, reflective, gorgeous, absolutely stunning paint is 20, soon seven years old, okay? I, I for some reason, in the pictures, I just can't get it. Uh, you'll see the original um, decals. There are slightly discolored, a little bit more so on this side than the other. Uh, I chose not to replace those uh, simply because, you know, they are original to the car. You'll see that there is virtually no uh, bimetallic corrosion at the bottom of the passenger side door. There is a tiny, tiny little bit on the driver's side right there. Okay. Um, the interior has been redone with OEM seat covers, so everything is as it should. You got the original style radio. That works. Got two speakers back there and one right here. Okay. Um, I'll have, I'll get it to the paperwork in a second, but just wanted to give you kind of like a uh, quick view of the inside. Uh, interior means also the rear jumper seats and the rear uh, panel that covers the door, okay, new mat, new floor mats, I forgot. So these are mats that I put there, but the original Land Rover mats are underneath and this guy is new and um, other than that, honestly, the interior is all in gorgeous shape, but original. Let's go on the other side. Uh, these have been replaced along with the lights, so that is, you know, consumable, so to speak. Uh, that helped the car pop a little bit more. But it is largely unmolested, clean history from day one. It's all in here. I'm not going to go through it all, but if you go through the paperwork and the pictures, you will see the amount of stuff that comes with the car. Uh, all the original tools are in place. Uh, Curtis, the light comes on when you open the door, like it should. Uh, the beeper beeps when you leave the keys in the ignition and you open uh, the door. Let's see now. It used to beep. Oh, wrong. There we go. Everything, everything, everything works. Um, and notice, I didn't even touch the door. That's how this door closes. Boom. Um, last but not least, I guess you'd like to hear the front. I want you to see how beautiful the paint is. That is white. So it's not like mirror-like, like some black paints are, but you can see my reflection pretty good. Okay. Sort of what it feels like to be inside. And um, the kind of uh, noise level in the cabin. So it's, you can definitely hear the diesel engine, but it's part of the charm, I guess. Um, it's not bad enough that I have to scream. My friend here can definitely hear what I'm saying without me having to restrain myself too much. Um, 